here at Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. And I'm at the Point Break Hotel. Very nice hotel. Uh, Santa Teresa is a buzzy little place. I mean, it's buzzing. And uh, it's a single street <laughs> running through it. It's weird, man. Like part of the road is asphalt and the part is muck. It rains, so it's muck. Uh, I've been here before when it's just dust. You'd think they'd invest in a little bit of infrastructure, but all in time, I suppose, all in time. Anyway, so uh, today I gotta decide whether I'm gonna hang out here and do some edit video editing, take it easy, relax, or uh, get on with it and move on down the road a little bit further. And we'll see. But right now I'm gonna go out and get some exercise in, uh, go for a stroll on the beach, and uh, yeah, we'll see how that looks, eh? Let's get out there and have some fun. Cheers. This is 6.30 in the morning. You can see the edge of the road here. No room to really walk. On either side. Last night when it's raining, of course. Over there is all muck. And a swamp. This is actually paved. So this is the good spot. <laughs> this is the good part of town. Last night there'd be at least 50 times more cars going by here. No room either direction. That's just the way it is. Right, so we found the beach access here. And you gotta go through this. You gotta go through this in order to get to the beach. Sendero Publico, the public with hash polished rocks. It's starting. Rambler World. That's nice, got a quaint area there. Sit and relax, eat, buy rentals, ATVs, surf school, of course. No place would be complete without a surf school in here. Well, I just got done my morning walk, exercise, a little bit on the beach, and uh, thought maybe I'll hang out here on the balcony and have my breakfast you know some banana avocado and that kind of thing all right well i'm here at the campground just waiting for simon i'll show you what that's all about in a second here so he's just packing up his stuff and this is the campground that he's at it was pretty good i think for him he just said well the only thing is the showers over there on the left and the washroom's right there, uh, not so clean, not so nice. Well, I'm sorry that there's no videos for the road, but we make our way to the ferry that will take us to Punta Reines. Looks like we've arrived with plenty of time. Our bikes are over here. This is the ferry terminal. We go to the Boye, Bole, Boleteria to buy our ticket 
when they open. We go in, we gotta buy a ticket for us and we gotta buy a ticket for the bike. So here it says 9 a.m. or media dia at noon. But on the internet, it said there was a 10.30 departure. And that is no longer correct. Look at how civilized they are. They sit and they wait. Well, this is Simon making love to his hand. He's bleeding. <laughs> He's bleeding. Anyways, uh, we're here and we're going to take the ferry to Punta Arenas. And this is the, the bay. And we're just sitting on the ferry now waiting. Alright, we're arriving in Punta Arenas. But we're gonna drive south all the way out there, unfortunately, to that area. It's raining. Hopefully it's done by the time we get there. Well we stopped for a little break. Not because we're wet, but just to have a little coffee, cookie, sandia, which is watermelon, and the place that we stopped at has this big bomber out front. I don't know what it is, what this old area is, but boy, is it pouring rain. But we have to go, we have to get in it because I would rather drive in the rain than drive in the dark. Nothing else, the bike is getting cleaner. Valhalla Cafe and Bakery. Well, at least it's starting to slow down a little bit, so... I don't know. <laughs> I think we're gonna get wet either way, so... Anyways, I'd rather ride wet than uh, ride in the dark. So. Well, we finally made it to Cuepos after a few hours of rain. Mia's Jacolina. There are like a lot of stairs to go up and a ramp. It's a maze of steps. Um, but basically, oh, look at that, it's not raining. That's nice. Anyways, there's a seating area over here for a hammock then the one below right in here there's two hammocks covered area kitchen there's a kitchen around the corner up on the next floor so you can stay fully functional here if you wanted to and the garden this is the driveway down the street and to the bike here has a shared bathroom this is my area it's fantastic because today rains so much i got a super fan above me Help dry out my documents. It's a very nice little room. It's just basically a room. Around the hall, there's a shared bathroom. So, toilet, super shower. Here we go. We're here at Soda Sanchez. Ah, love it. Come on, Asalia. Asalia? Si. Oh, yes. Gracias. Oh, that looks good too, eh? Look how hungry he is. That's the look of a man who's very hungry. <laughs> it's a whole place, man. It's a happening shack, isn't it? Wow, this is the vegan vegetarian plate. Ooh, how awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you did, Give it a big thumbs up and click the bell so you're notified when new shows come out. Subscribe. It helps you find the, the channel super easy. And, um, you know, share it with some friends. It's wonderful to share your stuff with friends. I really do. It's true. And uh, leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. Any message is fine. Uh, you know, take what I can. And um, you know what? The call to ride will continue. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.